Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for returning and thank you if you're watching this video tonight. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while and it is the case of Kanika Jenkins. Um, I'm not going to get too much into the backstory of what happened to her. I'm going to assume that uh, most of the people in this community probably are aware of Kanika Jenkins and, you know, sadly what happened to her. Um, I do just want to kind of focus on pulling cards and, and seeing what's going on, but I will I will say that um, when I pull the cards, I do want to focus on a couple of things and just my own personal thoughts I just want to put out there. Um, I, I am a little bit concerned about, I know there's been a lot of, um, you know, theories about why her girlfriend's left her that that evening in the, either the, it was the hallway or the lobby but why they left her in the lobby or the hallway by herself and went back into the um, hotel room to retrieve I think was her phone so correct me if I'm wrong but I, I believe that the the phone uh, that had been left in the hotel room did in fact belong to Kanika so um, I, I'm kind of in my mind I'm 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 questioning you know, number one, why was the phone left? Uh, did she try to leave in a hurry um, and, and realize that she forgot her phone? Did she just, you know, because I'm, I'm thinking of a 19 year old girl and, and these girls, uh, you know, they have their phones. We all have our phones on us, on our body most of the time. So it's gonna be either in the back pocket or it's gonna be in a purse. And so uh, I'm kind of wondering, you know, where was the phone? Why was it left behind? Was it just a matter of you happened to put it down and you forgot? Um, or, or were you in a hurry to get out of that room to begin with? And so uh, another thing that is bothering me is that if this was in fact her phone that they went in to retrieve, why did she not go back in to retrieve her own phone? So it, it almost, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I'm honestly kind of feeling like there was a reason why she did not want to go back into that room. Uh, I can almost hear her say, you guys go in and get the phone. I'm not going back in there. Will you go and get my phone? Um, and, and so I'm kind of wondering if there's something going on in the room uh, that night that prevented her from wanting to go back into that hotel room and get her phone. Now there's another thing that kind of makes me question, well, wonder about is the fact that the girls, her friends, had possession of her keys. Now, if you know the story, you do know that Kanika and her friends arrived at this party that night in Kanika's mom's car. Okay, so Kanika's mom is named Teresa Martin. So Kanika was driving her mom's car, so she was the driver, right? So we're going to assume she was the driver. Um, and they were getting ready to leave. Uh, so, you know, wh why did the other girls or why did someone else in that group have possession of the keys when they were getting ready to leave? Is it because, you know, they, they realized that she had been drinking and maybe was not in the position to drive? And so somebody took possession of the keys so that they could be a designated driver? Um, were the keys something that were also left behind? I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of concerned that... Number one, there might have been a reason why she didn't want to go back into that room. And there might have been a reason why she left. Oh, okay, so I'm kind of feeling like this was all of a sudden a rushed leave. Let's get the hell out of here kind of uh, feeling that I'm getting. Um, and, and, you know, why did the girls have the possession of the keys? Was it because she had been drinking? Um, or was it just because they were holding on to the keys? We don't know why. Um, so there's a couple of things uh, that I'm thinking about, and uh, I want to I want to I want to pull some cards just on that night or leading up to that night, okay, um, and see what we get. So uh, for the first deck, I have the Haunted House Tarot, okay. So the Haunted House Tarot, um, and I will just say that I, I did purchase this uh, tarot deck on Amazon because some people do ask where I get my tarot decks and so the majority of them I, I, I admit I get them from Amazon this was one of those decks um, so I have that one and I also have the new elements tarot um, this was another deck that I, I got off of Amazon and I really really love the images and there's there's a couple of images in this deck that made me um, pull this deck for this particular uh, reading. 
And so I'm curious to see if those cards will come out. Um, in particular, one one card that I, I'm curious, and it made me think of that deck, so that's why I'm, I'm using that deck. So I want to start out with um, the Haunted House Tarot. And I did try to get this video up yesterday. Uh, I, I wanted to get up a, a video sooner than this, and I apologize that I haven't, you know, I, I'm really, really trying to stick to a weekly schedule. But with m the candle business and making candles, uh, even tonight, I I'm portioning off my day for part YouTube and part candle making because I, I still have to make candles tonight. So I tried to record this video last night and I was up till probably two o'clock in the morning trying to record it. But what I found was is that I, I went into the background story of Kanika Jenkins and I spent 30 minutes just telling the story and, and 20 minutes drawing cards. And that's not really what I want this channel to be. I don't want to be just a um, person telling the story of what happened. I want to draw the cards and see what the, the cards tell us, what story we get from those. And so I, I decided to uh, just redo it again. And so I have drawn cards. I did draw cards for that video, and I, I, you know, I obviously know what cards came out. So this is going to be the second time I'm drawing cards for this uh, case. And so I'm curious to see, you know, which cards are going to come out again. Okay, because because when you have cards that continuously reappear, I do feel like those are a message that you have to pay attention to. So we will see what comes out. But I decided to omit that background story and um, just go right into the card pulling to save time. All right, so um, Kanika Jenkins, Kanika Jenkins, September 8th, Crown Plaza Hotel, what happened September 8th, Crown Plaza Hotel, Kanika Jenkins, Kanika Jenkins, Okay, one fell out, and that one is the Nine of Swords that fell out. Okay, Kanika Jenkins. Mm, another one fell out. Okay, so that's the Emperor. All right, so we've had two fall out, and then. Justice, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Devil, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of um, Pentacles, kind of a strange one, okay. Um, I accidentally pulled out two, so out of this one came the um, the Page of Swords and the Tower. Okay, the Two of Pentacles, um, mm, Seven of Swords. Let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me do one more. Hmm. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so um, there are some there are some repeats. Uh, the repeats are uh, I did pull the Eight of Pentacles before I pulled the Emperor. I pulled the Nine of Swords, and I pulled um, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so these four cards here are repeats of what I pulled in the uh, last attempt to do this video. Uh, so, you know, those, those right there, um, definitely are messages that need to come out, I feel. Okay, so, um, just right off the bat, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, the Ten of Pentacles caught my eye. Um, you know, normally the Ten of Pentacles is a phenomenal card to pull. It's just that happy... Happy family, abundance, security, traditions, um, you know, it, it's a good it's a good card to have. However, in this particular um, in this particular card, uh, I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the fact that well, hold on. Oh 
okay, we have a winter scene, first of all. Okay, so we have winter and we have cold. We have snow. And um, we, have a, we have an archway and we have a door. And this is a very different um, Ten of Pentacles from your traditional tarot deck. Uh, this is not what it looks like. They, this is the actual card here, but it's like they put that card inside of a different image. And the image, I'm not so much, I'm not so much getting a Ten of Pentacles vibe from this as I am getting a door and, and a doorway into cold. And if you are familiar with the Kanika Jenkins case, you do know that she passed away um, in a freezer, okay? And, you know, and I will just simply say that this case is so very disheartening and so, uh, you know, kind of uh, disgusting, to be honest with you, because I feel like, I feel like the police really dropped the ball on this one. Uh, there was no urgency in the beginning of the case to look at that video footage. And I believe that the mom attempted to see the video footage several times. I think that she asked the hotel staff that morning if they could look at it. Uh, they refused, stating that, you know, it had to come from police orders. And, you know, if you listen to the 911 call from Kanika's mom to the police that morning, she does ask twice about them retrieving the video footage of uh, that night. Um, now, she had no idea at that time that there was actual footage. She just wanted to look, right? She just wanted to see what was on there. And the officer that she was speaking to on the phone was very um, n very nonchalant, I think, and, and just simply saying, well, you know, I could send someone out to look at the video footage, but it would take a long time to, uh, you know, retrieve it and... I'm sure she's gonna, you know, pop up eventually. She's probably off somewhere sleeping it off or maybe she's at a friend's house, but you know, go home, chill, relax, give it some time. And if you don't hear from her later on, call us and we'll come out. So that was kind of the the end result or the, the response from police, okay? Um, you know, so I do feel like in this case, the outcome could have been different had there been some urgency in the beginning of the case when the mom was first asking to see the video footage and perhaps they would have been able to see where she was and gotten there before she had passed away. But to go back to this card, um, I'm looking at this door and I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this, this little, this little, uh, doorknob or this latch and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this is uh, representing the freezer door. So I do think that there's something going on with the freezer door. I do think that this here is inside the freezer. Um, I think that that's the cold that's representing the freezer and this is the door uh, going into the freezer. Um, this is not what I would normally think of with this card but I do think that this is indicative of that freezer door somehow um and, and you know obviously these two don't fit right so this door here is much smaller than this one uh or this archway so is there something is there something wrong with the door is there something wrong with the door to where maybe it doesn't uh it doesn't latch properly or it latches when it's not supposed to but i, I kind of feel like there's some message here with the door there's something going on with the freezer door um, and so we have, uh, let me go over the Nine of Swords because this one uh, I did, you know, this is a, a repeat card. The Nine of Swords, this means, I, to me, in, in my honest belief, in my feeling, in my gut, I feel like there was something that was bothering this girl before going to that party. I think that there's something going on prior to going to this party, okay? Something that's been bothering her for a while. Now, I do have the name, uh, we know from the autopsy reports and uh, that, uh, you know, I think caffeine was found in her system along with alcohol. Uh, I don't know how much alcohol, but uh, there was also a prescription drug by the name of, um, let me see, I have it written here somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I think it's topiramate, topiramate maybe, but is actually to um, prevent migraines and to help with epilepsy. So if you suffer from seizures, uh, you potentially could be given that uh, drug. Um, this was a drug that was found inside of her system, and her mom is saying she had no idea about this drug or this prescription. 
I do believe that she denied that, um, you know, Kanika had any kind of epilepsy issues. I don't know if she suffered from headaches. Uh, what's concerning me with this card here, this drug can also be used, but it's not common for other issues such as weight loss um, or, uh, you know, bipolar disorder. Um, so there's, there's some other things that are in that long list of possibilities. What I don't know is if they ever determined if this was her prescription or if, because I, I do remember reading somewhere where the, uh, the um, uh, coroner said that it didn't look like this was a one-time uh, dose. This looked like something that she had been taking uh, for a while, okay? So this is something that's been, you know, she had been taking this drug for a while, this prescription drug, rather. I don't want to say drug because I don't want it to sound like a drug, but she had been taking this prescription drug for, for a while. We don't know how long. And I, I'm very curious to know if this was an actual prescription for Janique, uh, Kanika, I'm sorry, um, or was this something that somebody else had a prescription for and maybe she was taking it in hopes that it would help her? Um, but I'm, I'm concerned about that because I'm wondering what the hell was bothering her because there was something on her mind and it was it was affecting her and it was it had been affecting her for quite some time. So there's there's a, a there's a pattern. There's a pattern going on here with her and this problem. OK, so there's there's that. Now, we do have the devil. OK, so, uh, you know, the devil that. You know, that, that is just, that speaks for itself. Whenever the devil comes up, there's something going on with, um, you know, it could be, uh, it could be money, it could be um, addictions, it could be, um, you know, all sorts of dark energy type of, um, you know, stuff going on in her life. Um, I don't think it was, I don't think it's coming from her. I think that there's something else going on here. Um, I think that there's something going on in her life prior to this party um, that was bothering her to the point to where perhaps she sought out a medication to help her cope with it. Now this was a very young girl, okay? She was only 19 years old. Uh, she had just gotten a new job. She had just recently graduated from high school. Her life was supposed to be starting at this point, but there's something going on that that's not right and, and there something's not right, okay? And I do believe that that started before the party. Um, because this here is a pattern. This is a pattern of behavior. So then we have, um, oops, I have a hair on me. Sorry. Then we have, um, well, we have eight and nines here. So we've got patterns. So th I, I do believe that there's something going on. Um, this, this eight here, this eight of, or, or sorry, this nine of wands. This to me looks like her going down the hallway in the hotel footage. Um, it looks like a person who is trying to get away, get out, find her way out, find find any way out. Um, she cannot see, she's got that torch, right? It's dark. Um, it, you know, was she trying to get away from someone? Was she trying to get away from, some, from someone that night? Or was she trying to find her way out um, of the hotel? So I'm kind of, you know, it looks like she's coming out of a maze. So this would be somebody that could, could be disoriented, could be confused. Uh, what does a maze do? You, you can't find your way out, right? You can't, you don't, you don't know which way to go. You don't know which corner to take or, or you know, which direction to go in. Um, so this to me really represents her feeling that night. I do think that she was very disoriented and did not know where she was going. Um, you know, and another thing I do want to add is that I'm very curious to know her condition when her friends left her to go in and retrieve that cell phone. Was she in that condition when they left or was she fine and all of a sudden something happened and maybe something, I don't know, kicked in and, and all of a sudden she maybe, you know, wanted to exit the hotel, maybe get some fresh air, maybe find the exit, maybe couldn't figure out where the exit was. If you could, you know, if maybe something kicked in. Um, and she all of a sudden became very disoriented and wanted to get out and maybe just could not find that, that door out. Um, that could have led to her wandering around. 
But I'm very curious to know what was the state of Kanika when her friends left her at that time? Was the state the same as what we see on the video or was her state different? Um, so very, I, and I don't know, I, I've tried to find that information and uh, I have yet to see anything about that. Um, and then we have the tower. Okay, so this is, you know, basically all hell breaking loose. This is, this is like, this is what happened that night, I feel. Okay, this is just what happened that night. Um, man, we've got the tower, we've got the devil, we've got the nine of swords. Mm. We've got the eight of wands. Uh, there was something going on in this young girl's life and it was not a good something. Um, and then add this here, the seven of uh, swords on top of it. That's the thievery card. Yeah. Now what was, what, what's being, um, what's being taken? What's, what's being, what, what, you know, is this person, is this woman here, which I would, uh, I would look at as being Kanika. Is she, is she trying to hide from these two people over here or is she trying to uh, sneak up on them? It's almost like I'm I'm starting to wonder is there somebody that she's trying to get away from? Is she trying to get away from someone? I mean, is she really is she really struggling? Is she disoriented and she's really struggling and trying to get away from these two people over here? One thing I will say is that I did listen to the uh, entire 911 phone call from the mom to the police that morning. And it's interesting because the mom is is explaining to the officer, you know, kind of the story that she had at that point. And she did say that she had been, you know, looking for, you know, any sign of Kanika anywhere in the hotel and that the family was going door to door and they were asking people, they were showing people Kanika's picture. They were asking people if they seen her um, and the mom tells the officer that she did in fact uh, come upon a woman who did say yes she did see Kanika that night okay she, or that early that morning she seen Kanika with three other friends and a couple of guys so um, right away I, I'm thinking to myself okay well who are those guys so if Kanika you know we know Kanika was with her three friends so we know that um, but who are these two guys or, or a couple of guys that this stranger, this other guest in the hotel, seen with the girls that night? I don't know if these three friends of Kanika's have ever come out and done any kind of interview or made a statement. Uh, I'd be really curious to see if they, they have. Um, I have not come across anything like that. Maybe I just haven't dug quite good enough. But um, I'm, I'm really curious to see who, you know, who these guys were, was there anybody in particular that seemed kind of out of sorts or off? Uh, I'm picking up this emperor. I'm picking up the king of swords. Look at this king of swords. You know, this is not what I would consider the king of swords. This is almost like a, you know, this doesn't look, you know, he, his feathers are, his or not his feathers, but his wings are black. He is playing a chess game, which means that he is, uh, very patient. He is very, um, you know, uh, he, he, he knows how to, he knows how to play the game. Okay. This is very, this is someone who is very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it right now, but, um, to me, this here is not a good person. This is a dark person. He, it, just his demeanor and the way he's, he's looking, um, you know, so so who is this person? Who is this king representing? That's what I want to know. Who is the king representing? Because the king is coming out because the king represents somebody in Kanika's life. And I'm I'm wondering if, um, and, and this is not, I, I would not, you know, this is to me, I'm getting dark vibes from this particular king. So I'm, I'm wondering if there's somebody at this party that knew Kanika or, or Kanika knew and, um, you know, there's something off with uh, this person here. Uh, and I would definitely say it's a male. 
this is for entertainment purposes, by the way. I forgot. To, I always forget to mention that. But when I'm looking at this king here, and I'm uh, strategic is the word I was looking for. This is a very strategic person. Okay, very, very um, planning out his next move. Okay, so to me, to me, this says with this person playing this chess game, being very strategic and being very patient. This is a person who, um, whatever happened that night, he probably you know thought about it uh prior to and had it well planned out and this was something in the works um and you know was probably going to go down that way that night okay so that that's kind of that that i'm saying that simply based off of that game okay and the way he looks there's something there's something dark about this particular person and then couple that with the devil so there there's something going on okay um and there's something that has been going on for a while because there's been a pattern of thought and behavior on Kanika's side. There's been something bothering her for a while. So I do believe that this all started before the hotel party. There's something going on in her life that had been happening. And um, I, I think it caught up uh, to her, unfortunately, that night. Now, I've been sitting here, and I've been looking at this Two of Pentacles. Uh, I do have a couple of Pentacles cards. I have the Ten. Okay, we have the Door, the Ten. But I don't think it has anything to do with money as much as I think it has to do with that freezer door. And then I have the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what else. The Ace of Pentacles. And then this one here, the Two of Pentacles. Now, again, um, I'm not going off the the normal um, you know, definition of this card. I've been I've been staring at this card for about three minutes now, and I'm looking at it, and I'm I'm in my mind I'm like, okay, what what is this? What is, what is this? What is this? What is this? Um, and if you look at it, it it kind of just clicked with me because I'm I'm looking at the carpet and I'm looking at the hallway, and I'm I'm thinking to myself, God, that looks like a hotel hallway, right? And I'm seeing double, I'm seeing double, I'm seeing double everything, double lights, I'm seeing double girls, double, double everything. And so I'm starting to wonder, is this something, I, I almost feel like this is Kanika coming out and saying, uh, you know, maybe, maybe her vision was messed up. Was she seeing double? What, was there something going on that night where her vision got messed up? Is that why she couldn't necessarily see, you know, where she was going? Because I think, you know, we've all been probably in that situation at one time or another in our lives, right? Where we've had maybe a little bit too much to drink. And, you know, yeah, you know, there's there's drunk, okay? You, you, you can get drunk. But do you get so drunk to the point to where you walk into a freezer and not know that it's, you know, not a place that you should be at? Um, I don't know. And so I've always kind of wondered, uh, you know, was there anything else in her system? And I, I know what the police are saying is that it was probably, you know, a mixture of the alcohol and that prescription drug and, um, you know, just getting caught in that, that freezer and not being able to get out. But um, I don't know. I just kind of get this feeling that there's something else to the story. And, and we don't know because they never investigated it because they closed the case before they even considered it a case. I mean, there could be a whole host of things if they opened up the case and tried to dig into it a little bit more and, um, you know, maybe try to track down the people were that were at, who were at that party that night. Because I do feel like there's there's something going on. And I, I'm, I'm feeling like this is her saying that there was something maybe something going on with her vision that that there was something going on with her vision whether she was seeing double um you know uh or or there's double there's double something was it a double dose of something was it somebody did somebody slip her a double dose of something or you know I don't know and I do know that the mom also came out and said that you know, she was well aware that Kanika was drinking that night, and she did say that Kanika cannot handle her alcohol. Uh, she said that she herself cannot handle her alcohol. And so, um, you know, that's kind of, okay, I would expect a 19-year-old to not probably be able to handle their alcohol, right? But is it going to be to that to that extent? Because according to the friends, she may have had maybe one glass uh, of alcohol. I think it was cognac, if I'm not mistaken. So would... 
would one glass of cognac, regardless of any prescription, get you so messed up like that? So I have to wonder if there's something else in her system. Uh, and I know that they did, you know, they did the test. And so I, I'm thinking to myself, okay, possibly this is something untraceable or, or something that they didn't know to look for. And they didn't look for it because they weren't really looking for anything foul play-ish, right? They were just trying to close the case and mark it as an accident and, and be on their merry way. So I, I'm feeling like there's something else going on. There's something else in this girl's system. And it's, it's, it's possibly messing with her um, her vision, and I, I do. I'm getting hotel room here. I'm getting. This is to me there, and there's something going on with the freezer. There's something going on with that door. Something's not right with the door. Now, was the door part of the plan? Okay, because I do feel like this is a plan because there's been something bothering this girl for a while leading up to this night. Okay, this wasn't just a we're going to a party and oh my god, this horrific accident happened. This is like there was something bugging and bothering this girl okay leading up to that night now i'm looking here at this ace where did my ace go the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles right here this is kind of like a new beginning i think that this indicates her job okay we know that she had just gotten a job she did tell her mom that you know that night her and her friends were going to go out and actually celebrate her getting this new job and so i do feel like this is actually her her this represents her new her new source of income her new job so I'm wondering, um, you know, is, is there someone at this job that, I don't know how long, I don't know how new this job was. I don't know if this was a job that she had started. I don't know if she, you know, did she even start this job yet? Is it new as in it's, you know, maybe she's been there for three to six months. I don't, I don't know how new this job was. I don't know if she was there long enough to make connections with coworkers or if there was a male coworker there that was causing her issue. Um, but there's something, the fact that the job is coming out, because I do believe that this is, <clears throat> excuse me, I do believe that this is the job. So what's going on at the work? What's going on at the place of work um, to cause this? What's going on here to cause this? Because there's something going on. Um, so I'm very curious. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that um, because that didn't that did not come out last night. And so I'm very curious um, um, to see how long she had been at this job where this job was and um who was working there because this guy and this guy here these play some these play some role or roles in her life okay they come out for a reason so either this could be the same this could be one in the same person or it could be two different individuals one older one a little bit younger but these are both, um, you know, guys that you don't want to mess with. And she was a young, young girl, okay? If I were to represent her by a card, I would probably consider her a page because she's so young. She's only 19. These guys here, especially this one here, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, maybe mid to late 40s, maybe 50s. This one here, I'm thinking 40s. So these are older men, okay? So that that's, if you want to look at, you know, tarot cards and ages, pages are going to be the youngest and then followed by the knights and then the queens and the kings, okay? So I would say that Kanika is bordering on a page or a knight, okay, as far as her age is concerned. So, but there's two older guys coming out in this reading. So who are the two older guys? Um, this one here looks scary. This one here looks scary too because this one doesn't look like it's somebody that Kanika would be hanging out with. This is a very controlling individual. This is this is a, a, a stable person. This is a person that has his shit together. He's he's older. He's got his money in order. He is sophisticated. He's serious. This is not somebody that um, this would come out. I, I would almost consider it more like a father figure if this were to come out for her. Um, I don't know anything about her father uh, or any male figures, fatherly figures that ha were in her life at that time. But there's some, some older person coming out and then uh, this person as well. So I don't know if these are two separate individuals or one in the same. So it could be either one. And then we have, um, you know, we have, we have the justice card, okay? And if you notice in this particular case here, the scales are not balanced. That tells me that this case we don't know what happened there there's been no there's been no justice in this case there, there it's not balanced okay the scales are not in balance this means that 
to me, there's more to the story than than what we know, and we don't have the information yet. Okay, and we won't. These scales will not balance until this case is actually closed when it should be closed. Okay, it's closed, but it needs to be reopened because there's other things that are going on in this case. Um, so I will say that. And then uh, we've got the the last card I have here is um, the. Uh, page where is this a page we've got the page of swords okay so I always have a hard time looking at their little symbols um, the uh, knights always have like a little horse so I have to kind of always uh, take a second look at these ones um, but this is the page of swords and again I just now noticed we've got the sword all the sword all the sword court cards have black angel wings and I, I understand the theory behind it because the swords tend to be uh you know probably the most challenging suit to work with in the tarot deck okay but this particular deck and it and it is also too because of this particular deck it's the haunted house tarot and so you are going to have that kind of a dark um appeal to it but these these two people here, um, you know, don't strike me as being the purest simply because of the way they are made to look. They're very pale. He looks like, you know, he, he just doesn't look like a friendly guy and, and she doesn't look as scary as he does. But is this a female that was also involved in this, this case? Is there, is there a female? Is there a, something? There's, there's other people involved in this case. Um, and I don't think it has anything to do with the three friends that she was with that night. I think this is either two or three other individuals outside of her tight friend group that night um, that are involved in this somehow. Okay, so. And if you, you know, I just now, it dawned on me. We've got a house here and we've got a house here. So we've got two houses and we've got this freezer door. Um, because I feel like this is the, the freezer door. This represents the freezer door for uh, whatever reason that, that's coming out. Um, to me, this here, the house, would represent... My first inclination would be the hotel. So this would represent the Crown Plaza Hotel. They're very big. They're very uh, luxurious. This was a very uh, luxurious hotel. There's something going on with the fact that this hotel, unless it's another, it could be another place. Um, could it be the place of work? I don't know where she worked. I don't know what the building looked like. You know, did she work um, at some, I don't know, retirement center where it looked similar to this i don't i don't know i don't have enough information about her job but right now i'm looking at these two homes as the hotel and it, and i'm looking at this person here as maybe a female that was also involved in in whatever happened to her so um i do want to draw a couple of cards from this other deck and i'm at 38 minutes. Oh my God. I'm trying guys. I'm trying to keep it under an hour. I really truly am. I want to draw a couple more cards from the new era elements deck and see if we can get to, um, you know, we're not going to get to the bottom of it, but to see if we can maybe get some more information if at all possible. Um, so what can you what can you tell us? Why why did this happen? Was this planned? This is, this is planned before this night. Okay. Was this planned? Can you get Jenkins? This is planned before tonight. Before September 8th. Okay, we have grief, which is, oh, I'm sorry, I have a hair. Um, this here is the three of swords. 
So in this deck, it's grief. The Daughter of Water, which is going to be the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, that's that beginning that to me symbols or, or symbolizes a possible new friendship or relationship. That That's what the Page of Cups is. So um, was there somebody trying to uh, make her uh, think that they were interested in her, but they had other intentions? Was she interested in someone? And, I, you know, I don't know. But the Page of Cups is coming out. And then we have the Four of... Um, we have the Four of Wands. Or, sorry, the Four of... Uh, the Four of Swords, which is... In this deck, it is Truth. Okay? So kind of like, you know, making amends. And then we have the Mother, Mother of Water, which is going to be the Queen of cups um in, in this particular case i do think it is kanika's mom that's coming through the daughter of fire lots of page the hanged man adjustment the father of water none of the cards that i expected to come out to be honest with you none of them success perfection this is not what I expected okay so there was there was a couple of cards one in particular that I was really um, had my mind on and uh, that card did not come out okay so so to me uh, that and I, I'll, I'll just show you the card okay so um, actually let me see if I can find the card because I'm not gonna pull any more cards this is gonna be it for tonight okay it's this one here I was actually looking for this one to come out which was the cruelty card and so there have been some some conspiracy well I don't want to say conspiracy but there have been some uh, theories out there about you know was this something to do with organs okay and so and I, I thought to myself okay if this card were to come out maybe I could kind of lean that way but this card did not come out and so that to me takes that off the table I, I don't think it has anything to do with that um, there's something else going on here and I'm picking up um, a relationship because of this page of cups and I think this represents Kanika so I think the the, the feelings, the um, feeling aspect or the affection is coming from her towards someone else. Um, so there's something going on there. Okay, so we have something. And then I, I do think that the mother is completely torn apart about this. I don't think, um, you know, I know there's been a lot said about her as well. I don't think that she had anything to do with this. I'm not picking up that kind of vibration at all. This woman here, this deck is based off of real people. And this woman here, Mal Moko, um, you know, very, uh, very intelligent woman. Um, you know, she's an author of a book. Uh, I think she's a professor. I think she lives in Australia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or maybe it's, no, maybe it's New Zealand. I think she's from New Zealand. Um, you know, so I, I do think that this is the mother coming out. Um, and I do think that she is truly, truly heartbroken. Um... And I also look at this here as self-injury, okay? This is a self-injury one. And we do know, if you do know anything about this case, we do know that uh, Kanika Jenkins had a couple of uh, injuries on either, I think it was a leg, an ankle, a foot, but there were two of them in that area. She was also found with one shoe off, okay? And so, um, you know, I've read the theories about was she trying to kick the door open, you know, trying to get out, and, you know, did she scratch her leg or did she, you know, do something to her foot or her leg while doing that? And so I, I do kind of feel like with this this self-harm and this heartbreak, um, I, I do think it was unintentional self-harm. I think that there were some injuries that perhaps happened to her um, that happened while she was trying to desperately get this door open. And like I said before, I think that there's something wrong with that door. I think there's something going on with that door. And I think that it's possible that the uh, hotel is trying to be very quiet about it. Um, they don't want anybody to know that the door was not working or, you know, something was off with the door. 
So we have the Seven of Swords yet again, okay? So this is the Seven of Swords. This is uh, the air sign down here. So the Seven of Swords. Um, and again, the Seven of Swords is deception. This is coming out again. I, I pulled it in the Haunted House Tarot. It's coming out again. So there's some deception going on around this girl. Um, I do believe that it has something to do with a, uh, you know, a love interest or somebody that she was starting to take an interest in. Um, could this person have been at her job? Could this person have been um, an older individual? Was this person at the party that night? There's something going on. And I don't know if the ultimate outcome that happened was what the, uh, what was the ultimate goal. I don't think that what happened to her was the ultimate goal. But whatever was done to her led to this horrible incident, and it could have, it could have been deterred or or interrupted had the police acted with a little bit more urgency and checked those those cameras. So I I, I do think that there's some deception. I think something's going on. I think something made that group of girls leave that party that night, and I think something made Kanika leave her phone in there and I think something also made Kanika not want to go back in and get her own phone so something happened there's somebody there that has some some you know I, I think devious intentions I don't know if it was the intentions of what actually happened but there's somebody there that had some devious intentions that were I think you know kind of luring her along and I don't I don't know there's some there's something going on um when I pull this truce card, okay, so this is um, this is also air, okay. This is also an air sign, right down here. That's an air sign. So this is the four of swords, and so you know the four of swords is. I'm trying to uh, think of the original uh, tarot. Four of Swords, this is, well, it's the rest card is what it is. Um, in the traditional tarot deck, the man is laying down and he's got his swords up on the wall and he's kind of giving in. It's kind of like a give up. It's kind of like, I give up. It's that white flag moment, okay? And so I do kind of feel like this is how Kanika felt that night. She just, there's something going on with another person, possibly even another female. And I don't think that Kanika was trying to... Um, you know, get involved with anything. I don't think that she wanted to start anything. I think that she was calling calling a truce. I think that she was like saying, "Hey, you know, is there another is there another couple that's in?" I'm kind of wondering if there was some some man there who maybe was uh, initiating something with Kanika, and he perhaps was in a different relationship, and maybe Kanika didn't know, um, and. And maybe this female found out about Kanika and there was some sort of uh, friction with those that with that group of people. I don't think I think that there is another man involved in this and I do think that there's another female. I don't think that Kanika knew about it. I think that this was complete and utter shock to her. And I think well, I don't have my nine of swords out anymore, but I think that she found out about this other female and that was what was causing all the strife in her life and the stress because I don't think that she wanted to be involved with anybody who had an, a, another, you know, a, a, another woman in, in their life. Um, you know, so I'm wondering if this was Kanika saying, I I'm done. I I'm, I'm putting in the white flag. I give up. You win. I lose. I, I just want to move on. Um, and, you know, maybe was not allowed to do that for whatever reason. Um, and so we have, we have the father of water. This is the king of cups. We've got another person coming out, another king involved in her life. That is an older male figure. So who is this other person who there, there is definitely, um, I do feel like there's definitely somebody else. There, there's something else going on here. And then we have this one here. We have adjustment. Okay, this is balance. This is all about stability, balance. Um, I, I again, I think that this goes back to the justice card in the other deck. There is, there is, um, 
there's something missing in this case. It, it's not it's not balanced actually. Um, there's there's something there's something that they're missing. I, I don't know, but I, I do have hopes because of this card here, the success card. Um, you know, I do know that the mom is filing a civil suit against uh, I think the uh, hotel, uh, maybe the restaurant inside of the hotel that were in charge of the kitchen that she walked into. Um, I don't know any updates on that that civil lawsuit, but you know perhaps this is a good sign that you know if she continues to fight this uphill battle that she will ultimately be successful. It's going to take a group of people. It's not going to be something that she can accomplish alone. Um, you know, so this is a uh, this is a huge uh, obstacle, uh, a huge mountain that she's going to have to, um, you know, get to the top of before she makes any kind of headway. But the fact that this card is coming out, it makes me feel like maybe if she continues the fight, that there is going to be some some way that this case could potentially be reopened, and they they could maybe look into it because I do feel like there's something that happened at that party, and I do think that there was something bothering Kanika before she even went to that party, and because of that Ace of Pentacles, I'm wondering if this did not start at her job. Um, you know, again, I don't know how long she was at that job for, if she was even at that job long enough to have anything like that happen. Um, but there's, there's something going on with other individuals and other men and possibly another woman. And I do believe that the men are older, but there, there was some sort of, um, I don't know, there, there's just something. And then we have, um, we have the four of wands. Okay. So perfection the four of wands typically this is a this is usually a celebration card in the traditional tarot deck and so this this to me kind of just says this was the party that night and all hell broke loose and it was just a disaster it was anything but perfection now um i'm saying that even though this card came out um upright it didn't come out reversed but uh, i do feel like the four of wands is a celebration card they were supposed to be going to a celebration um, you know, regardless, regardless of what she told her mom or what they actually ended up doing, both were celebrations, right? One was a birthday party, one was a new job. So either way that that night was supposed to be a celebration. So I'm not surprised that the four of wands is coming out because of the celebration to get together. But I do, I do feel like the fire is, is just all of the, um, you know everything that happened at that party every there, there's something that happened at that party and I do believe that there's something that made that girl uh, get out of that hotel room and forget her phone or leave her phone um, you know what I'm very curious about is uh, you know um, what was her condition when her friends left her that that's what I want to know and did her friends leave her because she refused to go in? You know, I'm picturing this this image or this this scene in my mind, and I'm like, okay, um, will you go in and get my phone because I'm not going back in there. I'm not going back in there. Will you guys go in and get my phone? I'll stay out here in the hallway. I'm fine. And and again, why would the girls even question whether or not she was fine in the hallway or the main lobby? Because this is a, you know, a very, uh, you know, I'm going to use the term fancy. Okay. It, it looks like a fancy, a very, a very nice, um, hotel. And so I'm, I'm wondering, okay, well, if they did leave her in the, in the, uh, you know, the lobby, it's got to be well lit, right? There's got to be people coming and going. There's this massive party going on. Um, there's people working at the front desk. So y there's, there's camera, there's security cameras all over the place. So in your mind, as a 19 year old girl, you might say, She'll be okay. She's in the lobby. There's a there's a guy standing right over there, five feet away from her at at the desk. There's cameras all over. Nobody's gonna do anything. So they they may have just I think genuinely felt that she was okay, um, where she was at, where they left her. Uh, so again, my main question is what was her what was her physical condition when they left to go back into the room. Um, and if she was fine, then what the hell happened in the few minutes that they were gone? Because something happened, um, you know, something happened, but, uh, let me go back, uh, since I did kind of dig through my, my cards here, let me go back and do one more pull on the, uh, this deck here, um, the, uh, haunted house tarot and just kind of 
kind of end this reading with something. Um, Kanika, is there anything that you want to, anything that you want to get out? Kanika Jenkins. Is there anything that you want to tell us? Is there anything that you want to tell us? Is there anything that you want to tell us? Five of Swords. Mm. Okay. So I pulled three cards. Okay, and I'm going to end it there because I'm already at 55 minutes. So, um... I've got... Again, you know... When... Again, when you have cards that come out multiple times, like this one here, the four, the four of swords, this one actually came out in the last deck. It was the truth card. Okay. It was the truth card. Remember the four of swords. So, um, this one, I look at a little bit different. This is, this is like, um, a, to me, to me, when I look at this particular card, I get more of a nine of swords vibe. So this is somebody that's dealing with some demons and it is, uh, sorry about the sirens it is so um it's bothering her on such a deep level that it's affecting her sleep so there's something there was there was something there was something going on uh, i think she was completely and utterly drained and exhausted i think that was there, there was something that she was dealing with that was pretty serious and then i've got two fives which isn't a good way to end um so i do feel like she is saying that there was there was some there was some bickering and there was some backstabbing and there was some jealousy um and and there was some competition and so um you know i i my last question i asked if there was anything that she wanted to come through and say and i'm getting um i'm getting two fives well and, and the four of uh swords but i'm getting two fives this is this is not good. So there, I, I do feel like she is definitely saying that there was some competition. There was some uh, backstabbing. There was some loyalty issues. There was some jealousy. And I'm kind of wondering if there was another woman involved. And uh, maybe that woman was jealous of Kanika. Um, I, I really do. I'm starting, after this poll, I'm starting to wonder if... Um, you know, there was a man that was... Uh, you know, approaching Kanika. And maybe this was kind of a, uh, you know, kind of an early stage relationship on her part. I, I'm wondering if it was, you know, like I said, older. And maybe this person had a relation or was in a relationship with someone already and maybe Kanika didn't know. Um, or maybe she did. I don't know. But, you know, um, I don't think that she did simply because of that truce card. Um, I kind of feel like that was a, I don't want any part of this. So I, I think if, I don't think she knew in the beginning, but I think if she did find out that was when she was heartbroken and devastated because something's been bothering her for quite some time prior to this, to this party this night. And I'm wondering if these people or this couple were maybe at this party, did the woman did, could it have been the woman that, you know, and, and again, this is all entertainment. Okay. This is entertainment purposes only, but was something possibly given to Kanika that night? What was something did, what was something slipped to her that was maybe untraceable? Um, or, or maybe not necessarily untraceable, but wouldn't be picked up unless you were looking for that. You know, when you, sometimes do an autopsy, you do hear of cases where if something's in their system, it may not show unless they're specifically looking for that particular thing. So was there something in there that maybe was traceable, but because there was such a huge urge to get this case closed and maybe not investigate it, was, was there no concern to look into certain things, okay? Um, I don't know if the family ended up having an independent autopsy performed, but uh, I kind of am wondering, um, you know, what was something given to this, to this young girl and it sadly ended up where it ended up at. Um, 
but was I, I don't know I, I kind of feel like there's more to the story so that's where I'm going to end tonight um, I know we didn't get it answered completely but I do feel like there there is definitely cause I, I, there's definitely um, some some doubts in my mind that this case really shouldn't be closed um, I, I do think that there we, we, we did at least establish that so I'll leave it there for now maybe we'll do a part two in the future um, but uh, I'm already at boom an hour right there I'm already at an hour um, so guys I apologize for having another hour-long video I'm going to um, try to get this up as soon as possible thank you guys for being here again and uh, please like and subscribe I so appreciate it and um, have a great night I'll see you the next time thank you